Well, welcome back. This is Joe Blasco, and uh, today on Spotlight on Success, our show is originating from Orlando, Florida. And um, as I said in my introduction, we have a wonderful, very beautiful young lady who is an expert in skin care and skin care manufacturing. And in fact, uh, dates way back four generations into her family. And that young lady is sitting right to my right, Miss Helen Noble. Helen, thank you so much. Oh, you have a very busy schedule, and Helen has come all the way from Naples, Florida today to be with us. And, you know, I remember driving through Naples, and uh, I don't know why I didn't settle there. It was such a beautiful place to be. How long have you been there? About five years, and you're right, it is an idyllic, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> it is. And I understand you have a condo near the beach, and you're living a vacation lifestyle. Isn't that wonderful? Let's talk about your skin care. How, how, how did you, your skin is absolutely flawless. It's gorgeous. So I can see that, you know, the results of, of the skin care. You know, we have people on the show uh, that do makeup, that do hair, that do skin care. And I've had, I've been lucky enough to have some really wonderful uh, skin care people on. And what I like to do is I like to use the skin care products from each of these, these uh, people, their companies for about a month or so to get to know and to see which ones I like the best. And I've been, I've been, and did you see the Tom Kish interview? Oh, I sure did. <laughs> That's the one, <laughs> Greg Cannon called me and said to me, can you imagine Greg Cannon, two-time Academy Award winning makeup artist, calls me and he says, you know, I turned on MUA TV and I thought that I was watching someone being embalmed. <laughs> So it looked, it looked as though I was, I was on the mortician's table there having a, a procedure. Uh, and it really did. It looked really bizarre. But it was a funny interview. But it was a very, very wonderful, in-depth look into uh, pharmaceutical skin care preparations. And this fellow, this Tom Kish, is kind of like a... A doctor, you know, I call him a mad doctor. I hope he's not offended. But uh, I'm, I'm, I've been now for about three weeks uh, using Tom's skincare. So today we're going to talk about Bella Clemba. All right? And we're going to switch from Tom's skincare over to your skincare. And I'm going to give your skincare a try for a few weeks. I've been very happy with his, the results of his product. And the thing that I find really interesting for all you folks out there is now you've seen all of the other companies that have come in, the people that have come in, and they all have a tremendous amount of products, I mean a big inventory of products. This beautiful young lady has two products. One cream and one mask. One cream and one mask. And I've looked at these products, and they're, they're very interesting. Their texture is very unique. We're going to be examining these products in just a second. But let's talk about your family. Now, uh, you say, and if I may remove my glasses, because Dr. George Semmel told me it makes me look old. I said, that's what I, <laughs> I said, that's what, but I can't see without them, George, so give me a break. So I, uh, uh, I, I understand that your products go all the way back uh, four generations. So who in your family actually developed, researched and developed these skincare products? Well, you know, it was, um, I had a great grandmother who really, she was known throughout, throughout her area that, that they lived in and um, she was a healer and, and she had developed these, these formulations you know, it was, um, she tended her garden, she was well read, she, she created her formulas, but she also, she also had these formulas that were passed down to her. And so this was this healing family. Well, then fast forward into, you know, the, the 20th century, right. everyone was scientists and physicians. Yes, so, in your family. Yes. Interesting. And they took these formulas and improved upon them. They took them, they improved upon them, but more importantly, they proved the, the healing anti-inflammatory benefits. Yes. So I had, um, well, we were always using these products in the family, and I remember being young and using them, and then after I was... Uh, after You're still young. 
Oh, that's true. She remembers <laughs> being young. Honey, wait till you're sitting on this side of the chair. <laughs> then you can make a claim like that. Not until then. <laughs> but if you would see my daughters, you would know. But no, so, um, so I would use uh, these products on myself and yes. I would use them on my children. And if my friends had, you know, psoriasis or dermatitis yes. or anything like that, I would share them. And, uh, and time went on and... So but you had these products. You knew how to make them. But they were not being mass manufactured yet. You were using them for yourself. So you were making these in your kitchen, or how were you? How were you making these products? Uh, I was, you know, I'd either be making them in my kitchen, or I would, um, when I was in Europe, visiting with family, I would go down to the pharmacy, the neighborhood pharmacy, yeah. and I would have them compounded for me. Yes. So that it would be, it would have a better texture. And what what part of Europe uh, are your family from? Well, at at the time, Eastern Europe, so I'm, um, it was Serbian, um, and then everyone started moving, of course everyone started moving westward. Yes. So really it was, in, it was in Munich, Germany that we would, um, you know, that I would go home to family and that I would get the products, take them back yes. home with me yes. to the U.S. And, um, but you know, they were always in their rough form. Yes. And, I just had this burning desire my whole life, really, to be in the beauty business, yes. and wasn't um, for a very long time. And then I started thinking that, um, you know, products out there weren't achieving the benefits that I wanted. Yes. And Eric, tell me what those benefits are. What 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 did you want? I wanted good health uh, for my skin and for my friend's skin. Mm -hmm. And so I, I knew that, um, you know, I knew that the family secret mm -hmm. was, was healthy, was anti-inflammatory, yes. was a benefit. So I started using it on my face and, um, and the elasticity yes. had suddenly improved yes. and my lines were smoothening yes. and, um, you know, just my face was lifting, firming, looking brighter, but best of all, I was getting compliments. <laughs> so. Just as she did, just as she did today when I saw her for the first time. You, yes, she is really you. a very lovely young lady, and your skin really does very much complement your line, and vice versa. Well, thank you for that. Um, so I started sharing it, and yes. um, shared it with friends and friends of friends, yes. and everyone had the same benefits. So I knew it was time to step up. Anti-inflammatory. What is it in the product that removes inflammation in the skin? You know, it's a, it's a synergistic blend, really and truly. There isn't an active ingredient. Mm -hmm. It's just a synergistic, wonderful blend of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants mm -hmm. that, that your skin really craves. Yes. Now, now, today you have the vitamins and the minerals and the antioxidants. Uh, were these carried back for, uh, forward four generations or were they compounding it differently then is this new because uh, i'm uh, you know back then obviously they didn't have the technology or the understanding of all of these wonderful ingredients as we do today or the availability of these ingredients ah uh, but they did you know in in many ways they did because they knew they understood, um, you know, we're, we're made up, we're an electrical and magnetic field. Yes. And they understood how minerals from the earth worked. Yes. How, how certain vitamins, when they would extract them, how they would work and what they would do for your body. So all of this technology that we think is new, um, no, a lot of it, the good stuff still dates right. back. So what you're saying then is, and I do agree with this, is, is that we have discovered that what they were using contained antioxidants and vitamins. And they were probably using herbal ingredients and various you know, uh, ingredients that they would derive from plant extracts and whatnot. And so today we know what those ingredients are comprised of. So we see them written on the labels. But back then, they simply understood from having used them 
what the benefits were without really probably even knowing what was what was that particular or those particular ingredients that were being active ingredients in a lot of ways in a lot of ways that's true but also you know they were they were really in touch um, they came at everything uh, from a self-healing perspective. Right. So whereas we look at things and we see them very commercially, yes. back then, the most important thing was to self-heal yes. because you didn't want to. I mean, they were as vain as we are. <laughs> I remember my grandmother. I think she was even a little more vain than, uh, than I remember uh, most people today. Um, but uh, maybe that's why I, I've... Uh, I've gotten the chutzpah, so to speak, to, to do what I'm doing here. It all comes down through the family. You know, I, I honestly, I, I, I understand everything that you're saying. I do agree with you 100%. And, um, uh, but again, I must say that I am astounded by the fact that there are only two, two items in your line. And, but I, I, I see that what, you've, what you're claiming is, is that this is really all you need that you don't need to have a huge, wide line of products because apparently what you have in this cream is formulated in such a way as that it works as an eye cream, as a throat cream, as a moisturizer, and, uh, and it would, I would think that it would help to regenerate uh, the skin and resurface the skin. So let's talk about this. And this is Bella Crema. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Bella Crema. Bella, Bella Crema in Italian. That means beautiful cream, or could the cream beautiful. But in Eastern European, it means pure. Pure. Pure cream, Bella. Bella, Bella. As in white. Uh, excellent, excellent. So let's take a look here, and this is, now what I noticed is, it, it, it is, so look at this. It's not going anywhere, all right? That's not going anywhere. This is very viscous. It has absolutely no Absolutely. Fragrance whatsoever. So that to me is, that is an accomplishment because there, most companies will use fragrance uh, to mask whatever ingredients they have that, uh, that's in there that may be active or, or, or otherwise. Uh, or they will have the vehicle, the oils and the waxes and whatnot, uh, that will give off the aroma that they have naturally. That this has no aroma of any kind. How do you accomplish that? It's pure and it's subtle and there are no synthetics and it is and that's really why uh, Joe that I say use it as your eye cream and use it as your neck cream. It, it really lends the same benefits. It's a very luxurious. Now, what I'm seeing here, this is, it's incredibly luxurious. Yes. It's very, very viscous, uh, but yet it liquefies, and you can feel it, you can feel it penetrating. Absorbing. And absorbing. You can actually, and there's a cooling, a cooling, and it feels, um, it feels medicinal. It feels uh, actually quite quite good, and I can see where this would be uh, not only a great moisturizer of sorts, but it would also be fantastic as a a base for makeup for foundation. Most definitely. Now you see, um, a little goes a long way. Well, I can see so that. you definitely <laughs> a little too much there. <laughs> the old school, you know, no, a little no bit need. is good. A lot is a lot better. <laughs> Doesn't work with this one, does it? <laughs> no, no, no. A little goes a long way. <laughs> Whoa! I almost. If I didn't have my jacket on, it would go all the way up to my elbow. <laughs> that's that's terrific, Helen. Um, all right. Uh, I I love the color. I love the look of the container. Uh, obviously, the product is excellent. You know what? There's no oily feel to it whatsoever. Exactly. Even though you see this shine at first. Yes. Um, you know, maybe a f because it's such a classic yes. formulation, yes. you look at this and you'll say, oh my, it's shiny, so it yeah. must be oily. Yes. Not at all. Yeah, no, it no, no. has this richness to it that you feel immediately. And I have to say this, when people use the products, they really, they not only look fabulous, they not only look good, but they really do, it makes them feel good. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it if you look good, you know, you're going to feel good. 
if you look into the mirror and you see the results being very positive results as you would in the case of using the bella crema uh you're gonna you're gonna feel feel better knowing that you look good and that's uh, you know that's psychological the basis for doing good makeup and also you know if you have good skin care you don't have to do as much makeup you have to use as much makeup your makeup by the way um our makeup artist here uh, did such a beautiful job on you. It's very, very natural, real natural. But what I'm so impressed with is, is the way the makeup is, is um, uh, sitting on your skin. And, I, can, and I, have not yet, I haven't seen that with any of the other skincare products. This has produced a, um, a layer, so to speak, or a film uh, that has, uh, has somewhat sur resurfaced your skin and is giving you a very continuously beautifully smooth uh, 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 application of foundation, which is very, very nice. And I think that this is something that I am definitely going to experiment with uh, in, in some of our future makeup demos. So you're going to be seeing me using Bella Crema as a moisturizer and a pre-foundation uh, cream, as a pre-foundation cream. And, uh, you'll see how well this works. It's really very impressive. So now, how can this also be uh, a moisturizer and an eye cream, a, th a throat cream, and a regenerative collagen building type of product all in one jar? How is that? Well, absolutely, because what's the, you know, the, the main goal, the mission of the cream really is to strengthen your skin yes. and, and give you um, optimal cellular regeneration yes. but without any harsh effects yes. purely from a nurturing yes. point of view so um, and when um, when Nicole was doing my my makeup back there she was even saying how the how the eye makeup was going on so smoothly and so fluidly and it is because as an eye cream that really does it strengthens the delicate skin around your eye. Yes. It also, you can use it. Um, you know, you can use it in the in the crease here. Yes. Certainly, don't get it in your eye, but yes, yes. but it is so gentle. Is you there can a problem it. if you get it in the eye? Is, is there anything in the product that would not be good for the eye, or is in terms of um, in terms of would it sting and that kind yes. of thing? Yes. Yes. It probably won't, no, it won't sting, yes. but, you know, you don't want you a don't, cream uh, in your right, eye. Right, right, yeah. But let me ask you this. Let's go into another direction. Um, there's so many, and I notice that you are, you, you're, you're recycling, uh, your, your packaging is, uh, your, your package, the, the, I, don't, I don't see the actual um, uh, cartons that you use. Do you use cartons for these, or do you, yeah. are you using recycled materials for this? This is recycled material. Yeah, yes. All the jars are. This is good because this is, this is very much of what is required today by skincare and makeup companies to use recycled material as much as possible. And you know, I had a beautiful carton design. Yes. And, um, and I took, you know, I had all that packaging designed and I thought, no, why would I? Yeah. Why would I yeah. invest in those trees? Right. This is terrific. This yeah. is it. Yeah, this is terrific. This is all you need. And now, um, tell me about um, cruelty free. Uh, is are you a, is your company a cruelty free company? Do you not test on animals? You know, I always I always see that terminology, and yes. it is so important. Yes. But I have to say, this is so healthy yes. and gentle. You could put it all over your dog. All over your dog at home, and I am serious. So how I'm funny is that? I'm great. I should have brought my dogs in today. I'm telling you. So. Roll over, Rudy. I'm going to rub this on your belly. And that's what's always so funny to this me. Is great. Is when they talk about cruelty. Right. Meanwhile, we're putting it on our right, skin. Right. Exactly. What's the? Yeah. What's it? Right. <laughs> well, you don't want to be cruel to the poor little animals. You know, that don't know. like. So why are they putting this on me? So what it refers to is really like the people who manufacture shampoos of and cre cream rinses and whatnot. They put this into rabbit's eyes and things. You know. But I think my dogs would really <laughs> appreciate being lathered up with these these products. These are really terrific. It's such a treat having you here today. Oh, you. you know, I really I really needed to, to have a, a wonderful guest with a great product 
that is so beautiful and so um, inspiring. And um, you've come from Naples, right? And it's a long drive to, to, to uh, all the way from Naples. To, and I really appreciate your coming here today. And I want, um, we're going to talk about the rest of these products in a second, but I, 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 we're going to put up at the end of the show uh, Helen's information and all of you all over the world. And we now have over 4,000 viewers daily watching MUA TV. That's right, you're, you're out there being fruitful and multiplying, and I really appreciate it. And um, what uh, uh, I'd like you to do is to be sure that you write down all of Helen's information and give this a try. It's just two products. It's, uh, you know, what could it hurt, right? And, and you, you're going to be very, very um, uh, uh, pleasantly inspired by the results that you get. Right, and uh, the the one is um, it's called one cream and one mask. Let's now we we've, we've talked about the cream, and the cream seems to be a you know a, a, a do all type of cream that is a definite must and would fit beautifully into a makeup case. Just one product like that. And what about this mask? Tell me about the mask. Take a look at the texture. Wow. There is nothing like it out there and it is it is so natural now this has this has a this has a medicinal or a, aroma to it but, but very pleasant is very it, very faint is it peppermint yes aha uh -huh. yes <laughs> yeah it's very nice it's very very nice ooh Oh my! Isn't that luxurious? It really. You know what this is like? It's like mousse. <laughs> it's like a mousse. I just want to get a spoon. You know, this is amazing. This is really great. Now, when we apply this, I'm going to have the most beautiful back of hands here. Here we go. And we apply this. And really, all you need is a very light layer. Yeah, not like I did. <laughs> all right. All right. Now we have. We'll spread it out so we have a nice light layer there. Now we have a nice light layer. Now tell me. What can I expect of this? What's going to happen? Is this going to harden up, solidify? Is it going to pull all of the bad things out of the skin? Exactly. And really, um, this is such a wonderful um, at-home, call mm. it your at-home spa treatment. And in between spa visits, right. or this is what you'll use. And yes. boy, it makes every aesthetician out there look good yes. when you use yes. this in between and what you'll feel is and particularly you'll feel it if you when you use it on your face yes, yes. Um, you can feel it's almost like hands-on yes and you know the oxygen and it's um, it's just it's nurturing cooling. the skin the peppermint is very cooling it sure is and uh, I can feel it drawing a bit so this you know what honestly the texture of these two creams of the mask and the cream are very similar. There is, there is a, uh, this obviously is a, has other ingredients that are making it uh, become a solid and uh, giving it drawing properties. But the spreadability of it, they're very, very similar. And uh, again, very rich. Both of these products are extremely rich. That immediately is going to be recognized by you when you try these products. And so, now, is this something also that your family created, oh, yes. or was it? Is this something that you have done? Well, I have by yourself. I have really um, perfected the cream. This actually dates back to looking more like the original, original. And so, um, what you don't, you I don't mind? You don't mind? <laughs> I, that It'll I wipe still this off. be there. Wait oh, till you god. see your hand. <laughs> oh my god! Look how look at that! How smooth. Actually, yes. That's actually, uh... And, you know, the other great thing about the mask in that it is so unique is you can strengthen the eye area yeah. as yeah. well. So, you know how a lot of times you'll see on, um, you'll see people with a mask on yes. and they have to make sure that it doesn't get anywhere get near the eyes, the right, eyes right. or around the mouth? Right. No. Because it could be, it has, it would, this does not appear to be that way. Uh, but I have to tell you, it seems as though it's resurfaced my skin. It really has pulled away the the you know the superficial cuticle layer of skin there, and it's very very smooth. It's it's not uh, it's not dry. No, it's not dry at all. And exactly. The surface is beautiful. This is excellent. This really is. This is really excellent. 
You know, it's, it's so many of the people that come on the show, you know, they all have excellent products, you know, and but they're all unique. They're all different mm -hmm. in their excellentness, if I, if I can say that. Um, and this one, now I haven't seen a mask yet. I've seen a, a couple, but I haven't really tried the masks. But I'm going to try this mask because this, this, this seems so incredibly different. Now, it's not dry, uh, but it's, it's like squeaky clean. It's oh, squeaky yeah. clean, you know? That's really terrific. Now, okay, now, let's say that you are going to give uh, a, a, a facial. You're a makeup artist, and you want to prepare your actor or your actress. Uh, I think they're all called actors these days. You want to prepare your actor uh, prior to makeup application. Tell me exactly how, is there something that you prefer to be done to the skin prior to the application of the cream? Do you use... Uh, hot towels to, to open, uh, to dilate the pores? Do you use any form of witch hazel uh, or a, 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 an astringent or a toner of any kind prior to the use of the cream? Uh, how, how, what steps do you take? And I know that you're going to do a demo for us. Yes. All right, so we'll probably be seeing all of this, but verbalize it to me now because we have an audience out there that actually sit there and take notes and write all this stuff down, mm -hmm. and rightly so, because this Wonderful. is an educational channel. Uh, all of the information concerning Helen is going to be found on a card at the end of the show. But what we have, which is new, in case you have not yet discovered it, is that if you click on standard definition, which is the icon at the upper left of the screen, the, uh, right under MUA TV high def, standard def, you click on that, and you're actually going to be able to fast forward and, re and uh, rewind through the programming. So if there's something that you've missed, you can fast forward or rewind, and when you get to Helen's card, where you see her name, her info, and all her, her information as to how to get in touch with her, you can actually stop it at that point or rewind so that you, you're able to jot it all down. So there, I just wanted to let everybody know that they can do that. Now, let's talk about the actual process, the process of, of, of doing a facial or preparing the skin prior to makeup application. How would you do this? If, you, if I uh, hired you to come into the studio here to, to prep uh, one of our actresses' uh, faces prior to makeup application, what would you do? Well, I was saying that this is a tremendous at-home product yeah. line. So, really, I would say that they would do their mask mm -hmm. probably at home when they went home that night because yeah. they'd want to they'd want to nourish their skin yeah. after a long day yeah. under makeup. But when they came here, I would definitely recommend a and I'm a firm believer in using natural products. Yeah. I would say use a witch hazel. Mm -hmm. And I brought some along just in case Good. we didn't have any here. But use a witch hazel and spray that on. Mm -hmm. And then once that absorbs, use your cream. Again, a little goes a long way. But really get it up around your eye area and, and use it as your day and night cream. Mm -hmm. And you'll just find, as like I was saying before, when we were doing my makeup, it just gives you such a great palette Excellent. to work with. Now, what about a cleanser? So prior to the application of the, uh, of the witch hazel, let's say, to tone the skin, which would be applied prior to the application of your cream, what do you recommend as a cleanser? You can use Cetaphil, which I just love, but one of the other things, and it is in my book, as far as uh, skin care goes, I have several different um, sort of applications as to how I go about preparing skin. Yes. And what you would do is with your Cetaphil, yes. just take some baking soda and use that baking soda all over your face as just a light granular um, exfoliant. Yes. And the pH balance between your skin and the, and the baking soda is just the most natural cleanser you can possibly use. That's on your terrific. Skin. I like that. Yeah. And then, and then you're going to go ahead and and tone again with the yeah. witch hazel, and then apply the cream. And yeah. what I love about um, the makeup application over the cream is, I have a natural six SPF mm -hmm. in 
in my uh, formulation. But that we know living down here in, in Orlando or even on the West Coast when I'm there, I still need lo you know, a lot yes. more skin, um, a lot more sunscreen. The makeup is just perfect because this is, um, this feeds your skin nutrients yes. and the makeup is your, is your shield yes. against the yes. elements. Yes, yeah, the titanium dioxide in, in the, the foundation itself acts as a, a sunblock. And, it's perfect. But I love the way that this cream is, uh, is giving the foundation a glow. It's, it's, it's really beautiful, and uh, I know that the makeup artists are going to love trying this. Uh, this is all really fantastic, and, but there's something that I, I really want to know about, because you've mentioned it a couple times, but we haven't, we haven't discussed it. Your book, when, when does your book come out? When can our audience purchase your book? Well, fourth quarter of '09, it'll be out. So. Okay, so toward the end of 2009. Now, the, the book will be dealing with all phases of skincare using these two products, or are you adding more products to the line? Oh, there are, there are more products that are, that are coming. Um, but I really wanted to emphasize how how uncomplicated skincare really Absolutely. can be. I agree completely. I agree. You know, as a makeup artist, you know, and, and coming from the old school, we kind of always looked at skincare as like aesthetic. You know, it, it, it existed, but it didn't really exist. It was kind of like a marketing kind of thing. And over the years, obviously, we've learned that the skin is not a barrier, that the skin does absorb. And a lot of the, our beliefs have since then fallen by the wayside. Um, but still, it doesn't have to be overly complicated. It's not brain surgery, it's skin care. And what I really like about what you've done here is, is that you've really kind of boiled it down to two products that will produce very beautiful results. And uh, uh, so in this book, you use these two products and you discuss skin cleansing procedures and so tell us a little more of what we can expect from the book. The book is really, you know, I, I want people to maintain good health and, and vitality and we're timeless. Yes, yes. And so the book really does uh, touch on, on the physical, the emotional, as well as the spiritual yes. body. So it's more than skin care. Yes, it sure is, because we are holistic beings. Yes. We are whole. <laughs> Nutrition. It's Very there. important. Absolutely. Exercise. Exactly. Uh, uh, Self-awareness. Yeah, absolutely. You know, meditation is such an important part as well. So tell me about nutrition. Well, I approach nutrition a little bit differently in as much as, you know, what are our organs doing? Mm -hmm. You know, it just seems like um, we always, you know, there's always the, the diet book yes. uh, that's the, the latest, and, and all of that is wonderful. But truth is, how do we maintain um, a regenerative, healthy body? Yes. And that's, that's the approach I take to nutrition. Yes. So it's, um, you know, it's, it's the good health of your food, whether it's... Um, whether it's eating um, uh, the right proportion of raw food, whether it's, yeah. you know, what types of vitamins and minerals, yes. uh, without over supplementation, yeah. get it from your food. Absolutely, when you can. I agree completely. You know what I've found lately is, is that you know, uh, I, you know, I followed Dr. Sheldon. Do you, do you, are you oh, familiar yeah, with Sheldon's sure. hygienic lifestyle? I don't know if you, you 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 lifestyle people out there, you should be familiar with. I think it's Herbert. It was Herbert Sheldon, who was kind of like a Kellogg. You know, he, his, he had this place in Arizona, I believe. And he wrote umpteen books and pamphlets on nutrition and how to live properly. He has one book, it must be this you know, huge book, like a Bible of, of, of life, of how to live and how to eat and how to breathe and how to walk and how to, you name it, it's in the book. And, uh, Oh, uh, his, and tell me if this is somewhat what you're, what you're condoning, and that is, is that he believed that you had to separate all of your food groups, that you, you should not 
ever combine protein with carb. That if you eat carbs, you eat carbs alone. But you can eat carbs with vegetables. You can eat protein with vegetables. Fruit, depending on the type of fruit that it is, if it's an oil-based fruit or a water-based fruit, it has to be separated. You can't put, you can't eat uh, a water-based fruit and like an uh, like a, a, a peach and a banana shouldn't be eaten together because one is oil-based, the other is water-based. So they conflict. You shouldn't eat, drink water uh, for two hours before you eat or for an hour before you eat because it dilutes the digestive enzymes. You shouldn't drink water after you eat. You shouldn't drink water at all while you're eating. I mean, th these were some really revolutionary ideas that I followed for about 25 years when I was younger. And I think that the only reason I'm still walking, <laughs> having been through the Hollywood lifestyle, and I'm still here sitting in front of you and able to, to, to address our 5,000 or 4,000 people out there, is the fact that when I was young, I really took this kind of eating very, very seriously. I can remember inviting friends over to the house, you know, making these huge salads, you know, and they'd be looking at me like, what is this guy all about, you know? But, and then, you know, fish and whatnot, boiling fish rather than frying the fish and oils and all that. So, so uh, is your book going to somewhat touch on, on this kind of understanding of food and nutrition? Well, I grew up, um, and no, I couldn't drink with my meals. So yes, that and no, we don't mean alcohol. We no, <laughs> no. <laughs> <A> little <laughs> wine never hurt anyone, right? <laughs> Absolutely, but it's but you're so right. You yeah. know, there's um, it's all of that. It's all of that that natural processing right. that your body does. Right. It's just it just. My philosophy always, and whether we're talking about exercise or whether we're talking about yeah. the nutrition or the skin care, regardless of the self-awareness, is just get out of your own way. Right. Exactly. Just let your right. body flow with nature. And you have to be in tune. You have to be in tune with your body. You have to understand your body. There's so many people that place themselves in really precarious positions health-wise and exercise-wise, I have to say because they don't understand their body mechanism. You know, running on a solid cement surface, no matter how soft your shoes may be, is going to have repercussions on your knees, your hips, your feet, you know. So, I mean, there are, there are, there's a lot to be considered. And you're, you're saying awareness of the body and being in tune with it is absolutely a must for, for longevity, I, I think. And I can't wait to read your book. Thank you for that. Yeah. So it, we have to wait all the way to the end of 2009 for this? Well, my publisher tells you you do. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, we'll wait then, won't we? So what we're going to do is, um, now you're definitely going to come back and visit us whenever the book is ready. And, and if you could send me a copy of the book prior to its you know, being uh, uh, put on sale, uh, I would like to introduce it to our audience. And uh, if you would like, we can promo uh, the book or even sell the book through MUA TV if you like. So, and I know that my, my viewers would like that very much, would you not? All right, so uh, how's that? Does that sound like it might be a plan? It's a plan. That's a plan. I'll be back. We're gonna, okay, <laughs> terrific. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I just uh, want to tell you how much I have enjoyed, and I want to tell you how much I've enjoyed having you here as a guest today. And uh, I love your ideas and your concept of beauty and nutrition and self-awareness. I agree with everything that you've said, and I wish you a great deal of good fortune in everything that you do in the future with your products and, uh, and with your book. And um, you definitely must come back, and we will do this again when the book comes out. So Helen, thank you. Thank so you. You're a doll, an absolute doll. Ladies and gentlemen, Helen Noble, all right? And uh, the product? Bella Crema, all right? Don't you go away. We have a lot more makeup, hair, and skincare programming in store for you right after this.